So I'm making this video, not even knowing if I'm going to post it, but I'm just going to talk anyway, and maybe I'll just throw it up there online. I know I haven't made a vlog in a while, <clears throat> and things get in the way, life gets in the way, business gets in the way, um, but that's, that's all really just excuses, um, because... You know, I, I'm a firm believer in, in, in if you don't have the time, you make the time. And always people are just like, I don't have the time, I don't have the time. We all have the same amount of time. If you want to do something, you make the time. If you want to go to the gym, you make the time. You don't have the time, you make it. And I try to live by that, and I even try to change the way I say things. Because if I find myself saying I don't have, I always change it to make. Because I feel like I'm trying to train myself. I think people don't understand the implications of the words they use. When they say, I can't, as opposed to, I choose not to, I, I, you know, again, it's those little things that I think really um, shape who we are and what we believe, because uh, what you think is what you say is what you do, type of thing. And uh, I'm a firm believer in trying to keep all those unified. But honestly, like, it was just kind of, I had actually a few minutes to myself is very rare um, and no one's in the house so I was just sort of thinking and you know last month or two has been kind of crazy a lot of stuff going on and you know reflecting about 15 years of Fright Rags and, and thinking about um, you know when I started there was only like one or two players in the game if you will only one or two companies out there Rotten Cotton being the biggest one and a couple others that were kind of out there around the time that I started and I remember specifically thinking, you know, I wanna, I wanted to be like at least Sean, but I wanted to be different than Sean. I wanted to do something. I wanted to always be different. Um, and I tried hard to, you know, even though I look back and I think some things kind of emulated that, I still tried so hard to do a different thing because I just wanted to be different. Um, and it was nothing against Sean. It was just I wanted to be different. If I was gonna do it, I might as well do something different. And I felt like I had a different aesthetic and a different vision anyway than, than the stuff that he did. So I felt like they kind of could coexist. But it's funny how in the past four, five, six years, whatever, uh, man, you know, I don't know if it's, I, well, I, I do kind of know. I mean, it's just an explosion, you know, explosive with so many people and companies out there. Like, and, you know, with, with the ease of being able to create a website and get shirts printed and, uh, social media now, it kind of levels the playing field. I mean, you can get a website up in like an hour and have a design done and contact somebody and get printed and next thing you know, you're off to the races. And it's interesting because now we've got all these companies that are like very similar to what we're doing and some of them are actually getting licenses and, and doing very similar stuff. And then you've got other companies that uh, just a rash of companies that have no licensing, nothing, still doing stuff that we're doing that's licensed, but they're doing it completely unlicensed. And it's like I scroll through my Instagram every day and I just see it. It's just like every other image is just a something new by somebody else doing something. And it's, it's crazy. And, you know, there's a part of me that's just like, oh, man, like we literally had to pay thousands of dollars for that. And they didn't. That kind of sucks. But... And there's a part of you just like, well, we didn't do licensing for a long time, and now we are. And, and it's it's hard. It, it feels like, you know, you kind of were in, hanging out in a room with a couple people, and then all of a sudden, like, like a hundred people came in. And now it's, like, a little hot and a little stuffy, and you're kind of a little thirsty. You want something to drink or get out, maybe to get some fresh air. And uh, the climate's totally changed, and it's funny because it, we see it every day. And... You know, before I would use that sort of comp competition, that competitive spirit to really fuel me, and it still does, you know, but I also realized that it's just more of a sign to stay focused and not distracted by everything that's going on. Um, because I feel like I can mishandle the situations at times people bring things up to me I see things I've talked to people about it I've contacted people and it feels very I don't think a lot of people will admit this but it feels very stepping on toes at times and 
even though I've mishandled situations uh, at times, I also have felt that I've always tried to do so with the best of intentions. Um, but there are times I screw up too because I'm not exactly clear on how I feel about things. And I realize that at the end of the day, my best self is when I'm in this zone, when I'm creative, when I'm leafing through old Fangoria's while I have a VHS on, or uh, just looking through old books and remembering, remembering that moment when I was a kid going to VBO, you know, video box office and renting a video for $2.14 and the shitty popcorn they gave me and the magazines and the drawings and just the, that feeling. And that's why we're into this, right? It's that feeling. Uh, I can listen to a song or, or see a commercial and it takes me back. I mean, I, I get made fun of a lot around the office for liking Wilson Phillips, but the irony is when I listen to Wilson Phillips, as weird as that is, it takes me back to being in eighth grade in my room, uh, reading Fangoria's and drawing comic books. Like, that's crazy, I know, but we all have that. So I think about everything that's going around and I get caught up in it sometimes. And you know, it's, it's scary because I'll tell you one thing and not a lot of people will admit this, but it, it, it fucks with you. Uh, you know, it's not easy running a business. It's not easy doing this. Uh, and I'm not complaining. I mean, this is what I signed on for, but it's not easy. You know, I've got people to take care of, not just my family, my employees. And, you know, I, I think about that a lot. It weighs on me and, and, and I want to do the best that we can do. I want to put out the best stuff so that people just love it. And they, they just feel the passion that we all have for it. Um, and when that's threatened in some ways, even if it's even if it's sort of in a way that might not seem to anybody else that it's threatening, it, it all it takes is one little thing and it gets right under that little flap of skin. And we've all been there. You know, you read you could post something great about your life, and then there's that one little comment. You can have a hundred happy birthday comments and one person going, you know, stupid. And then next thing you know, you're you're shut down for the day because you focus on that one thing. And, and that's listen, I'm human. And even though I'm, I'm way better than I ever used to be about dealing with that stuff, it still happens sometimes. So I don't really know where I'm going with all this. And it's, I don't know. I'm just, I, I just, I'm trying to show the human side of things. And um, that's all I got, man. That's all I got. So that's it for now. Uh, I don't know if this helps. I don't know if this does anything for anybody watching this. But uh, anyway... That's my Monday, and I hope you're having a good day, and the sun's shining, and I'm going to go back to focusing on what matters. <laughs>